Hello everybody, in this lecture we will be solving 1989 IMO problem number 1. Here's a view of this problem. Uh, we are given a set of the first 1989 positive integers and we would like to express them as the disjoint union of 117 sets, each with 17 elements and each set having a, um, a constant sum. Well, in this case, it's quite easy to find that sum. So first of all, let me uh, check uh, to confirm that uh, 17 times 117 is sure enough 1989. So that works. And then uh, the sum of all the elements in all the sets is equal to 189 time, 1989 times 1990 over 2. And, um, and as a result, if I divide this number by the number of sets subsets which is 117 um, so these two will cancel I will have a 17 here these two will cancel I will have a 995 so as a result that would tell me the sum of uh, elements in each set should be uh, 16915 the way uh, the question is um, right now um, it's very complicated because there are too many numbers around so I will simplify this thing so let's try to figure a way to handle all this with um, let's say we have uh, five subsets only a1 union a2 union uh, um, a5 and let's assume that well let's assume this is um, the whole thing is a the whole set okay and let's start with a small a let's assume that a has only um, only say 10 elements in it 10 <clears throat> then each of our subsets a sub i should have two elements in them and it's um, I don't think it's it's any challenging huh, to figure how, how the distribution should be uh, so if you have the um, the five sets in fact let me create this table here a1, A2, A3, A4, A5. So each row represent the elements of the sets A sub I. So therefore the first row. Um, so, so what I can do is uh, I can distribute the numbers evenly. Um, so, so in the following way, probably that should work. Yeah? If I write the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then write them in descending order this time, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, that should do the trick. The sum of each row is 11 which is it means it is equal right and it's no surprise that they are all equal to 11 because uh, we have 10 numbers the, the the sum of all these numbers divided by the number of sets uh, so the fives will cancel yeah we should have gotten an 11 and sure enough we have the 11 but uh, so if uh, each subset has two elements life is pretty straightforward let me actually have a uh, look at the even case so what if each subset has four elements so um, let's say that a is 20 now uh, so suggesting that because I have five uh, uh, five subsets each subset would have four elements let's see if I can uh, handle this case um, or how uh, to bet to better handle it so I have my uh, again my rows representing the elements in each of the subsets and each subset would have four elements um, so how to do it? How to distribute the numbers so that the sum of each row would be 20 times 21 over 2 divided by 5. So you have a 10 here. There's a 2. So the sum would be 42. So I better get the sum 42 for each row without loss of oops, 42 in each one. Uh, without loss of generality, I can put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I already, uh, yeah, so I used the first 10 numbers. Now I need to put the numbers 11 through 20. But again, I can use the same analogy. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And hopefully that should work. 30, 42, 11, 23, 42, 11, 24, 42, and 13, uh, sorry, 11, 25, 42. Yeah, it works. So actually now I have a very, very good understanding of how to write the numbers, right? So if each A sub I, uh, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, have an even element of numbers, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, whatever, um, 
so in that case all that I do is I start writing my numbers 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that should that distribution works beautifully right so everyone agrees uh, that the um, sum will work out really nicely and so on so and then I will go up down and finally up so I will have 39 here and 40 here so that should work out beautifully so no doubt about that so now what happens if each AI has an odd number of elements so which is uh, the case in our problem here now what if each subset has an odd number of elements so meaning what if for instance my set is the following set one two so the even case is easy one two three all the way to 15 only so I have an odd number of elements in my big set which is actually the case in our problem here and then each so I will split it into five subsets each with three elements and I want to see how that would work uh, okay so there, there are multiple ways you can come up with a construction. Uh, I will come up with the following trick, actually. And I think this trick will generalize very beautifully. Um, so the trick is the following. So this is kind of like a two-step construction, if you will. Um, so I, I, I put two tables side by side. And... Oh. Okay, each subset would have three elements and the sum of the elements would be, huh? because the, the, in the maximum is 15, the sum of all the numbers in the set A is 15 times 16 over 2 and dividing it by number of subsets that I want to split into. So these two will cancel out, I will have a 3 remaining here, um, 8 here, so 3 times 8 is 24. So therefore each row should add up to 24. I have the following idea. So what I would do is I will write the numbers, um, c consider the following construction and then I will uh, write the full general uh, generalization next. Um, so suppose that I, I put my numbers in the following fashion, 2, 1 and then uh, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3 and finally two four one three five so what I did is I replicated the numbers one through five uh, three times in three row in three columns and then what I will do is I will shift each element here on the second column by adding five and then I will shift each element on the third column by adding ten so first of all notice that before I do this shifting business the sum of each um, row is equal so after I add five to every column so every row is added five more the sum will not change it will now instead be 14 right it will rise to 14 and then when I add uh, ten more it will further rise to 24, which, which is what I needed, right? So the sum of each row should be 24. And furthermore, I claim I will use each number only once. So the first column, I do nothing. 2, 4, 1, 3, 5. The second column, I add 5. So it is 7, 6, uh, 10, 9, and 8. And the third column, I would get uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, and 11 so I claim this construction works which is obvious okay now how to generalize it to to, to the final result that we want um, okay so um, here is a generalization so what I would do is first of all let, let's put our list again here uh, just to remember one to all the way to 1989 and then I would like to split a into um, 117 parts where each part where uh, each AI uh, has 17 elements in it and also uh, the sum of the elements in any given partition is is equal between each row okay so the way I will do it is the following so I have my 117 sets one two um, a um, I think uh, a57 um, a58, a59, uh, a sub 60, and so on, all the way to a sub, oops, sorry for that, for earlier calculations. So a sub 116 and a sub 117. And then, um, okay, so I have to put the numbers. So um, 
consider the following columns 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on all the way to 113, 114, 115, 116 and 117 okay so I, I will try to be as clear as I can uh, and then there are dots here and then we have this middle section uh, and then more dots and finally the first two rows okay so um, so how do I arrange my numbers so the way I will do it will be as follows so I will uh, the, the, the trick would be the following actually uh, based on the case that I know how to construct when uh, a has two elements I can generalize it to an even number of elements if I have three I know how to do it as well so what I will do is any odd number like 117 oops okay I think that should work okay anyhow so the way I will do it is I will split the columns two by two so column one two would be together three four together 113 114 together and finally last column 116 115 16 and 17 they will be together and and then I will do the following I first write my numbers uh, in increasing order for the even ones it will be the same procedure right so 57 58 59 60 and then 116 117 and then I will go backwards 1 2 uh, um, all the way to 117 116 um, yeah I don't know the midsection but okay so you guys have an idea so I, I do the same thing here 57 58 59 and so on all the way to 116 117 and then I go back 116 117 117 and then I do the same thing again uh, 57 58 so you see the idea 116 117 and then I go backwards 116 and 117 and finally for the last three columns <coughs> uh, I will uh, I will make the following general uh, notation uh, like generalizing on this uh, three case um, uh, three by five case I will generalize it to three by 117 case using the following one uh, that I claim works so you can write 117 here 116 and so on uh, all the way to 61 here um, 60 59 58 all the way to uh, 2 and 1 and then the column next to it would start with 58 57 it will go down all the way to 2 1 and then it will be 117 116 and so on uh, all the way to 60 and 59 now the third column is remaining column is these three numbers remember should add up to because I I'm just writing the numbers from 1 all the way to 117 three times the sum is three times 117 times 118 over 2 but then I need to further divide it by 117 rows and that would give me 59 times 3 177 so therefore for the sum to be 177 I should get this one as 2 this one should I think be 4 and so on so the next one I think this one should be 114 116 uh, 1, 3, and finally 115 and 117. Okay, but still I'm not done. All I did is I, re I rearranged my uh, sequence uh, 17 times. Right, right, right. So each element has 17 in it. Sorry for that. So this is a small typo. I should have stopped that. So this is 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Not Okay, so this one is... It doesn't change anything though. Oh, let me write it with my red pencil. Um, so each uh, each set a sub i should have 17 elements in them sorry not 117 okay so 13 14 15 so the last three are together basically I will use the following trick I would simply here add uh, 117 to each element in this column and then I would add two times 117 to each element in this column and so on I would add 3 times 117 to each element in this column and so on. So I would add 12 times 117 to each element here, 13 times 117 to each element here. Now for the last 3, I continue this procedure. So I would add 14 times 117, 15 times 117 and finally 16 times 117 to each element here. 
<coughs> so for instance, the very last element, so the largest element, 1989 would be this one here, right? Because I, what I would get there is 117 plus 16 times 117, which is 17 times 117, which is I already know is 18, uh, 1989. So I claim this uh, construction uh, works and, um, and it does uh, provide the desired uh, construction for this problem. And I hope you enjoyed uh, this problem. Uh, this was a combo problem, pretty neat problem. Uh, usually construction problems requires a lot of trial and errors like I tried to do here until you find a pattern and a, con a, and, and a generalization of the construction. So I um, uh, hope to see you guys in, a, in our next video.